Hello everybody, it's been a while since I last made a video, sorry for the quality, it's on my tablet, but um, yeah, it's been about a month, been kind of busy, um, got some new stuff, this is my October update on my reptiles, um, yeah, I only had the few, including this little girl, so yeah, let's get started. So obviously this is my African, West African side neck mud turtle, I'm pretty sure. West African serrated mud turtle. She She's about 11 years old. I've had her for about 11 years. I have her in a 40 gallon, 40 gallon breeder tank. Pretty big, kind of expensive. Um, I have my UVB. Um, I got a new bulb today. It was... Yeah, it's too far away. Um, it was the Zoomed bulb. It's gotten it. Let me see. Yeah, you can't see it. It's uh, 40, 74 degrees in there. So it gets the it gets the tank a lot warmer than it was before. I used to have the turtle tough bulb, but that's your basking spot. I used to have the turtle tough bulb. Nothing does not create a lot of heat. Um, these basking bulbs, they say it's for like you know, jungle and savanna and all those animals, but this one creates a lot of light and a lot of heat. Which is good, because it's almost winter where I live. So, yeah. That's brand spanking new. I have my UV bulb, too, of course. Um, uh, I have my backup UV bulb. You have this one. UV, 50 Sun, Zoom Ed. Zoom, pretty much anything made by Zoom Ed is pretty good. Not everything, though. Um, yeah, um, I work at the, uh, I don't work, I volunteer at the, uh, the, the, can't think right now, the wildlife center where I live, and the lady, she has turtles there that people didn't want. I wasn't going to take them. She uses them for education, but she gave me, for my help, it's not really volunteering when she kind of pays you, and fish, and weird plant. You can't see any fish. I think she got them all. There should be some little ones darting around somewhere. But she gave me these plants that the turtles didn't need. And I have no idea what kind they are. I, they could be anything. <coughs> ah, kind of in the cold. So nothing a whole lot has changed except for the plants. Um, I'm not sure it's African. She's from Africa, but I don't think it matters. But it looks like this. Green stuff kind of floats freely. If you get a reptile, I recommend getting tongs. They're useful for everything. If you know what kind of species of plant that might be, she didn't tell me. She had no idea. She just told me it was like regular aquarium plant. Which doesn't help me too much. But... This is dangerous. Yeah, if you know what it is, comment. Put it in the comment section. Give me your best guess. I can't run nose. It's annoying. So, the temperature they usually like, or my turtle I've noticed likes, is around 80 degrees as a basking spot. And it's getting warmer in there. 80 degrees, um, is usually perfect for every aquatic turtle. If I had to rank, like, the difficulty for aquatic turtles, especially this one, I think it'd be, like, from, like, an intermediate. This aquatic turtle is pretty much any of them. They're all, they're all kind of similar in care. But they'd definitely be an intermediate. With all the, you, you have to have like some reptile knowledge kind of under your belt. Because you need UVB, the, again the basking lamp, basking bulb, basking spot, all the space, and the filter. So it's not really a beginner animal, like leopard gecko or Pac-Man frog. So, Got a lot of hard water stains on there. Those never come out. I feed her earthworms. Again, the occasional fish that I put in there from the pet store. Um, they're gone now. I have no idea where they're at. Her basking spot wasn't really like a turtle thing, but I turned it into a turtle thing. There was like a little hole in it. You can see kind of through the grass stuff. I just clog that up in case she gets stuck and drowns. I don't want that to happen. 
Yeah, all these fish are gone. She must have gotten them. Well, I got them for free, so I guess, I guess that's what you get really paid for. But yeah, earthworms. Um, I also feed her no plant material, completely carnivorous. This stuff, zoom in, quad turtle feed. And this stuff, Missouri. They're the exact same, They're both pellets and kind of made it the same thing. I even mix them together, she doesn't know the difference. She eats that stuff. I recommend getting that stuff. Even like picky eaters will eat that. Or earthworms or something like that. Because it's kind of hardwired into the DNA to start chasing after those kinds of things. Not really an elaborate. Um, I put in the plants in the crocodile head as more like enrichment. Makes it look a little more real. I'm not really sure if she's from the wild or not. I have my suspicions. Pick up that. But yeah, it makes a can help her reduce stress. Just kind of looking by at it kind of reduces stress. But she can also dig underneath it. Climb on top of it, chase around fish, if there were any. I think the filter may have sucked up a few. She always kicks off the little thing that sifts stuff, so I, yeah. That's never there. It's all particly. I gotta clean it out. I never want to do that, though. No one ever wants to do that. That's another intermediate kind of thing. You have to be, like, kind of committed. So yeah, um, uh, tomorrow's her feeding day. That's her. Kind of my pride and joy. Alright, I'm going to show you the ball python, if the lamp allows me to. It doesn't really show up usually, though. Alright, there we go. Here's my ball python hydra. Um, I've had her for a couple of years now. She's a few years old. She just fed, and she's about to shed, so I probably should mist her tank again. That helps. It helps the uh, reptiles when you mist their tanks. The humidity helps the water get into their body. Gets between their, their new skin and their old skin. Helps them rub out easier. So this is a... I might need to get a bigger one for her. This is kind of a generic generic kind of thing. She has a rock hide, which she's sitting on top of right now. I put down this moss stuff. I can't remember what it's called. It's um, sphagnum moss or something like that. So I put that in there. Increases humidity and all that good stuff. There's, you know, a little few leaves in there. I can't see it. It's too dark. Well, pythons kind of like it dark. They can't exactly see the same way we do, though. You see more of like a heat version of everything, so it doesn't really matter if it's dark. So I have her water dish, of course, always filled, and I have a little branch going across it so she can shed against it. So she's out, she's trying to digest the new mouse. It was a relatively small mouse though, so she won't, you won't see like bulging out. It's a very pretty snake. Just a regular, normal ball python. But nevertheless, still beautiful. She doesn't like being misted, so I gotta. Oops. One moment. Okay. I got. I had the little pump thing, so I have to pump it up every once in a while. She, she recoils. It's like holy water to demons. She doesn't like it. But it's good for her, she doesn't realize that it's cold and sudden. She didn't really see it coming. She's cold at now. I don't really handle her too much. Probably should handle her more often, but she's really she's really tame. Whenever I take her out, she's chill and cool. She doesn't mind too much. She just kind of crawls around my arm. She's going down to the camera. Ooh. 
Very cute, very tame animal. Definitely a beginner animal. Yeah, this is the, even though I've had it for less time than I've had the intermediate animal. That was kind of a noob decision to get a an aquatic turtle when I was five. Let's go back to her. You just across my room, actually. Camera makes it look like I'm like 50 feet away from her, but not really. My bedroom isn't that big. So, yeah. She has some... <clears throat> God, my voice. She She's actually jet black. If you look at her, she's completely black. I even put her in her tank. Uh, okay, I can't see it from there. Never mind. Totally black, but I've gone to the pet store and seen that their their box they're not boxes. Their mud turtles are the same species as I've described. Um, African serrated or side necked mud turtles. But they're all brown. They're not black like she is. So I wonder if that's like because she's from the wild. Because I, I read something about that. I was wondering it, so I looked it up. And as it turns out, it might be because she's wild. The sun must I'm not sure, again. This is just speculation, but... The sun must give off some kind of UV that... Atchlings need in order to change a different color. It must not be necessary, because they... Will seem healthy. So... Yeah. When they... <clears throat> when the young get out of the egg and bask, they must... Ch change a shade of color. Versus... In the wild, they turn black. Versus to... Um... Fake light which they turn brown. Or maybe some kind of color morph? I don't get it. Very hardy animal. She's taken everything I could dish out, though, as a new new reptile keeper, so I kind of recommend it. A very nice, kind of exotic, better than your painted variety or anything like that. So, yeah. Um, it's about as long as I can make a video for YouTube, so, um, that's about it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I like reading comments, especially comment. And check out my playlist of videos I've liked, and this is like my whole reptile channel. Check out the people I'm subscribed to, because they're really awesome. Especially Zach Wilson, he has a lot more stuff than I do, he's a lot bigger. Um, it's only a year younger than I am, too, and he has better stuff than I do. So, yeah. Check out his channel, check out the people I'm subscribed to, and have a good day. Bye.